Yes, I am the Guardian of the Ashes. I have waited years for this. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful. Come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here. And shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea? Ah, is it not? Then perhaps this is the beginning of the end. Colgrim knows not of what he speaks. His heart is laced with poison, and he has led many astray. You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. Hmm. This mountain has veins of lyrium running all through it. Uh, can't mistake that tingle. It's so strong I can just about smell it. Makes you wonder what's magical here, the urn or the mountain? What exactly is keeping you alive, Guardian? It is not my place to question. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. Then you will not come to the ashes. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. Tamlin was one of your tribe. A blood brother. You left him in the ruins. Left him to his fate. Tell me, Pilgrim. Did you fail, Tamlin? Very well. You know your own heart. Now you've got me curious about how you really feel. I'm glad you declined. This question has nothing to do with our goal. One wonders why you are afraid to answer such a simple question. Perhaps your reticence says more than you ever could. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open old wounds? I don't really know about these guardian types, but I think the correct answer was yes. It seems that reflection on past mistakes is a constant preoccupation of the religious mind. You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Is there any religion that does not thrive upon guilt like a glutton at his lunch? No, I thought not. Accept your failings, but do not let them govern your life. You could not have known what would happen. You did what you thought was best. Ah, uh, everyone makes mistakes. I say have an ale and let it go. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool, used to spread the word of the Circle and the Chantry. 
Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question, yet you already know our answers. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you? When all know that the Maker has left, he spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. Ah, the Dwarf. You left your home and came to the surface, knowing that... Why don't I save you some time? Yes, I wish I could have saved my family from Bronca. I wish I'd been a better mate. Maybe she'd have stayed home with a belly full of baby Ogren and never gone for the anvil. Maybe I failed her. And yes, I came to the surface because I'm barely a dwarf anymore. My family is dead. My honor as a warrior long gone. I've lost my caste and my house, and I have nothing else to lose. Shale, the stone giant. There is so little I can draw from you. I feel the distant echo of a soul, dormant for so long. Now, awake. Good for you. And with the awakening, the slow realization of all you have lost. Ah, Shale. Your entire existence is a test of your will and courage. You have my respect. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek.